What's up guys, Sonny Carla, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about how to overcome mistrust in a relationship. Uh, mistrust is a big thing because it can affect us in so many different areas in our lives, especially in our marriage and without us even knowing it. Um, now, this is a struggle that I personally battle with and so I can resonate with what, what I'm about to tell you. Um, and because of that, I think that you, this would be very helpful for you. Um, I want to talk about in this video where first where this core message of mistrust comes from, okay? Because that's important. If we can understand exactly the core message behind mistrust, um, we can understand exactly when we're feeling it and we can combat it better. The second thing I want to do is I want to talk about like some of the characteristics and traits of people who really struggle with this core message um, and then talk about some possible early family environments that might have caused this um, and then some tips on how to weaken it. Okay, so my goal and purpose of this video today is to really not just to make you aware of whether you struggle with trusting people or not, okay, but it's to really help increase your consciousness, increase your awareness of, of where this really comes from, the strength of this, and you know, how to really be more conscious of it when it shows up in your life, especially when you feel it, and then how to how to combat it, okay? Because a lot of times, you know, we can struggle with this, this issue of mistrust like a knee-jerk reaction. Sometimes it can come up and hit us and, and just we get triggered and all of a sudden we just like, you know, our guard's up, we don't trust somebody, we have these thoughts, and it can affect us in so many different areas. So, um, so it's not as simple as, you know, most people think that it's simple as, oh, well, just don't be so mistrusting. It's not that simple. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot more that goes into it. So, so let's get started, shall we? Um, so the first thing is I want to talk about is the core message. Like, what is the core message that's running in the back of somebody's mind that's causing someone to to not trust or to struggle with this issue of mistrust? Okay. So the core message is basically this: is I cannot expect to be treated fairly. Um, I expect to be um, treated, uh, um, to be judged, to be treated unfairly, to be manipulated, lied to, and, um, and therefore I cannot trust other people. Okay, so that's the core message. The core message is I'm going to be taken advantage of, I'm going to be lied to, I'm going to be um, manipulated, and I cannot trust anyone. Okay, so this is a core message that people have running in the back of their minds that's causing them to mistrust. Or in different areas of their lives. Now, people who struggle with this core message, typically, obviously, they, they struggle with trusting others. Um, they also struggle with, you know, giving people tests. So they tend to like question people's question people's motives um, often, even though there's no reason to question it. Um, they'll test people in their heads, even their spouses, and it's, and the person they're testing doesn't even know they're being tested, and so people can never pass, you know, their tests most often. Um, people who struggle with this core message also tend to like um, put people in categories, you know, um, even either by ethnicity or by men or women. They tend they tend to like generalize a specific, you know, um, population, and and so those are some of the traits of people who struggle with this core message. Um, some of the possible family early environments. And this is something that obviously I fit into as well. But um, you know, one is you've you've maybe you've had abuse, you know, verbally, sexually, um, emotionally, um, you know, physically. You had some type of abuse at home. Um, maybe you've witnessed someone being mistreated at home, uh, like your parents abusing each other. Um, and maybe it was not you being abused, but maybe you witnessed like your siblings being abused. But something where you've witnessed a lot of abuse or, or or just um, an environment where there was a lot of um, mistreatment going on, like a lot of yelling or, or you know, fighting or abuse in any sort of way, okay? So that type of family environment can cause this core message to come up of, of, of I cannot expect to be treated fairly, that I would be manipulated, abused, um, you know, and so forth. All right, so um, so we talked about the core message of mistrust. We talked about the characteristics of a person who struggles with mistrust. And we talked about some of the possible early family environments, okay? Um, also, another possible um, experience that could happen is maybe someone could have been 
extremely hurt in a traumatic way, right? Maybe through um, multiple broken relationships where they just feel like, okay, I can no longer trust people. I can no longer let people in my life or be friends with people, right? And people who struggle with mistrust um, also have a hard time building friendships because they feel like people always have ulterior motives or they never trust the purity and motives of other people, okay? Not to say that everyone's motives is right, but um, not everyone falls in the category of can't be trusted and can't be trusted, right? People's motives usually lie in between that range. So, um, again, so the way to weaken this, right? How do, you, how do you weaken this? How do you get better with trusting people? Okay, number one is increasing your understanding, okay? Which we're doing right now is understanding that this core message is causing you to see yourself and the world in, 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 in a reality that's not true, okay? It's causing you to have a perception about yourself and your environment that's not true. And so once you can realize that, um, and, and understand that this core message of mistrust is causing you to see yourself and other people in ways that's not necessarily true, then you can call it for what it is, right? Which is, which is a lie, right? The core message is not always true. Um, so that's number one. And when you can increase your understanding and consciousness of this core message, then you can take steps to change, to better understand it, right? Understanding is the second part of change. Awareness is the first part of change, okay? Um, and so what you need to understand is what I just said. One is that this core message is not reality. It's a false perception. And number two is that it came from those experiences or possible early family environments in the past. Um, and so what you can do is, is now you have this understanding and now you have this, this um, awareness. Some of the tips you can do is now just be more conscious of when you have the feeling of question in people's motives, okay? Um, and again, not, not put people in two categories, whether, you know, can't be trusted or can't be trusted, but understand that people fall between the range of those two, right? And people, and also it's helpful to understand that people who make mistakes doesn't mean they're not trustworthy, okay? A lot of times people who struggle with this core message, including myself, um, when people do us wrong, we write them off. We're like, all right, you did us wrong this time. Let's say I'm cutting you off. You can't be trusted, right? Um, but people make mistakes and all because they make mistakes doesn't mean that they're not trustworthy. And so that's one thing we have to realize, okay? And so, um, and so with these tips, guys, I hope that you'll be able to get that better understanding of that core message of mistrust um, to be vulnerable and talk about it more with your spouse is very helpful as well. So she can understand you better um, or he better and he can understand you better as well. And then you can have more empathy in the relationship and more understanding, okay? And then it'll also help you when you get into arguments or fights in your relationship and your marriage, um, where you, instead of being triggered, right? And, and com being combative with your spouse because this core message of mistrust is being triggered, you can now become more aware of it and you can have the consciousness to not fight back and to take a step back and to think, it's like, okay, where is this feeling coming from? Okay, I know exactly where it's coming from. It's coming from, you know, I, I know it's mistrust. I know it's coming from my past. I'm not going to react. I'm just going to just, you know, calm down and be vulnerable and talk about it with, talk about with my spouse and help her to understand me better. So, so I hope you got uh, value from this video. Give me a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Shoot me a comment below. Let me know um, just some of the struggles that common struggles that you go through, and exactly what are some of the tips that you performed or you've done in your life that helped you to overcome uh, mistrust, and um, and just you know how do you cope with that? So um, again, appreciate you guys. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you guys on board. If you like videos like this, um, we put out videos every week to help marriages not only thrive but continue to thrive even more and be stronger to make an impact. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now.